set up the robbery. And then when they caught, um, and then when they caught the uh, two out of the three of the men that robbed my church, everybody got quiet. I need y'all to give me an opportunity. Give my attorneys. I have the best attorney in the world, in the country. I'm talking about Don Florio is my attorney and she don't play no games with the bishop. And she's going to do what she has to do. You know, I have a powerful uh, uh, um, attorney team. And also my civil lawyer who's holding me down, Brian Ponda, one of the best attorneys in the country and in the world, right? So more importantly, I got this man on my side called Jesus. <laughs> and the Bible says, when God's before you, who could be against you? And I really want y'all to understand, listen, settle down. I know some of you guys are mad at me and you don't even know why you're mad at me. However, I want you to just to do some research. Don't let media shape your mind. Y'all did that when my church got robbed. You did that when my church got robbed. Y'all allowed the media, y'all allowed what people say, y'all allowed the things that they brought up, y'all allowed everything to confuse you. Do your research. Some people been calling me about um, the other person that is in my indictment. And they say, Bishop, we're going to show the world who he is. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to stand 10 toes down, but I need you guys not to wish me bad or not to um, try to tear me down, right? I want you to read. That's it. Read. Read into what they're talking about. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? So I want y'all to really stay focused in this season. Stay firm in this season. And we have to understand that we have a purpose, we have a process, and we have a promise. I'm living my purpose. I'm going through my process to enter my promise. And I want you guys to allow me and my family to have peace, right? When you guys thought I set up the robbery, I was getting inboxes. They wish my kids died, this, that, and all these heinous things. And, you know, I want you guys to be careful what you say about Bishop. Be careful. The Bible says in um, Psalms 105, 15, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Now, I get it, y'all. A lot of you might not like me because you don't understand me. But I want y'all to give me an opportunity. Give me a chance. Give me a chance so that you guys can understand who Bishop Whitehead is, right? A man of excellence, a man of integrity. And if I wasn't a man of God, the enemy wouldn't be fighting me like he is. So I want you guys to keep me in your prayers. And also, I'm not listening to the noise. Y'all did that to me before. All of the bloggers and the vloggers and everybody with their own um, way of telling the story, right? That don't matter to me. I'm not giving you no light. I did that before. I'm a man of integrity. I'm a man of stature. I'm a man of God. And a lot of people don't want to accept it. They don't want to accept it. And I know you say we need answers. Read the paperwork. Does it make sense? Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense to you? And I can't get into the legality of this case, but my attorneys are doing what they're supposed to do. And I'm excited. I'm excited. The Lord has blessed me. And I want you guys to stay focused. Stay firm. I want to leave you guys with this scripture. I want to leave you guys with this scripture from Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 5. It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew you. And before thou came forth out of the mother's womb, I sanctified you. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. God said to me, before I was even put in my mother's womb, he formed me, which means I have a purpose. 
Then he said, while I was in my mother's womb, in an incubator system, God says he touched me, he anointed me, which means he separated me. And then the Bible says he called me to be a prophet to the nation. He called me to be an innovator. He called me to be different. He called me to be a trendsetter. And if I say 10 toes down, I got to be 10 toes down. And I want y'all to understand, if you have hate in your heart, understand that this man of God have a purpose, a process, and a promise. The Bible then goes on in verse 6, says, Then said I, ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. You see, sometimes... When you stand in the midst of a storm, you feel like a child. You feel nerve wrecking. You feel that you can't move forward because the world seems that they're against you. The Bible goes on and says, But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go into all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shall you speak. I want y'all to understand that I'm under the authority of the Holy Spirit. I want you to understand that the words that are going to be uttered out of my mouth is straight from God. It doesn't matter if you like me or not, right? One thing that I've learned is everybody is not going to love you. It just is what it is. And the last word, the last uh, two verses, verse 8, I'm in Jeremiah 1, verse 8. Be not afraid of their faces. I want to say that again. Be not afraid of their faces. For I am with thee to deliver thee says the lord i want you to understand you can ridicule me you can call me all types of names and you can say what you want to say about me but there's going to be a, a time that you're going to turn to the same god that i'm talking to you about and you're going to remember this bishop that had to go through the process and you're going to say did i do right by the man of god you're going to ask that question you're going to ask that question lastly it says this verse 9 then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. From here on out, you're going to hear what God has to say. You're not going to hear what Lamar has to say. You know, you're not going to hear my cardinality. You're going to hear God. That's it. And that's all. You're going to see who God has made, 10 toes down. And you're going to be able to look back at this and say that man of God is real. When we gave up on him about the robbery, even further in the beginning of the year, when I turned the young man in that allegedly killed an innocent man, it started then. It started then. They started to call me names, the bling bling bishop, and he started then. And then my church was robbed church was robbed and then it started they continued there oh you set up your church and everybody believed it now we're here now we're here now we're here the bishop was arrested and everybody is coming up with all type of opinions and advices but i'm gonna tell y'all today that the bishop is not guilty and i'm gonna fight it i have the right legal team and more importantly i have god i have a family my church family is strong, and I want y'all to understand this smile ain't going nowhere. Ten toes down. Thank you, guys. God bless you. I love you guys. Ain't nothing changed. I'm still the same bishop. I'm still the same bishop. Amen? Y'all stay focused. And remember this. I'm going to repeat this. Just because you was arrested doesn't make you guilty. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. I'm telling y'all. Y'all drunk it already. Don't drink it again. Give it time. Give it time. Oh, the lady, one of the mothers of the church told me, Bishop, when they lie on you, just know that the truth is putting on its shoes. Y'all stay tuned to these, to this uh, mysterious people in my indictment. And they said, a lot of people called me and said, you know what? We're going to show the world who they are. And I want y'all to really pay attention to the attack on the man of God. Amen. Pay attention, y'all. Pay attention. And don't cast judgment on me. Let it take its course. God bless you. 
I love you guys with the love of Jesus. Y'all stay focused. Y'all stay firm. Ten toes down. Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead. Thank you so much. Y'all keep praying for me. And please, allow my family to have peace. We have holiday. We have Christmas. You know, and it's not ironic that they did this during Christmas week. They, they arrested the bishop during Christmas. Everything makes sense for big publicity. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Y'all make sure y'all follow me. I'll be preaching this week and nothing's changing. I'm pushing forward. I love you guys. <clears throat> and all my guys that's in the community from the streets that's been reaching out, I love you guys, man. Everybody that's in the lawyers, the doctors that know me, everybody that's been reaching out, I love you guys. Ten toes down. I accept what God says. He says, I'm going to make you my poster child to show my people that all you got to do is stand and trust in Jesus Christ. I love you guys. Thank you so much. God bless you. And understand this. I'm not listening to the noise. Love y'all.